Good evening, everyone. The Courage to Come Back Award for Youth recognizes the resilience of someone under the age of 25 who has overcome illness, injury, social, or economic adversity. This young person has confidently encouraged others, both young and old, on their journeys. What it feels like to be a role model is like, it feels like very intense at first, but then when you realize what you're doing and that there's people looking up to you and you have to make sure to carry on with good intentions. And that's what I've been doing for the past, I think, year and a half helping out. For those that haven't met Danielle, I would describe Danielle as one of the kindest, most joyful young women I ever have had the privilege of meeting. Danielle is a volunteer at our kids club program, so she rides the bus with uh, myself and the kids and the rest of the team and uh, gets to know the kids and sits with them and entertains them. And then as well, during the program, she's quite involved in everything from helping co-host the program uh, on the stage, leading games, leading songs, acting in skits that tell a story. And I also help out at Connections and Fusions every Friday, and that helps at-risk children and at-risk youth in Surrey to help them teach about God, and because some people don't know about God, right? I nominated Danielle uh, for the Courage to Come Back uh, Youth Award because I saw a young woman who not only grew up in an extremely disadvantaged situation, and uh, a vulnerable neighborhood, but a young woman who also uh, was diagnosed with autism uh, later on in school and had to overcome a lot of barriers that way to be able to grow up, go through you know her teen years and come out of it just so positive and so joyful. I have autism and ADHD. I got diagnosed when I was seven and autism it doesn't have a face. It doesn't have a personality. All it does is make things a little bit harder for life and a little bit harder in responding to things. I think Danielle finds giving back really important because she knows what it's like growing up in the inner city and uh, having struggles and maybe not uh, fitting in at school and so she considers each child that comes on our bus and, and into our programs she sees herself in them as well my childhood was okay despite the fact that sometimes we wouldn't have like food sometimes or clothes sometimes to help out because of the low income issue but with that I didn't have a lot of friends growing up. I thought I was gonna be alone forever. It was very, very tough to get through COVID. I had to stay inside during COVID because my mom was getting really ill at that point and I didn't wanna bring sickness into the house, right? So I didn't get to go to school in person. I had to do it online and it wasn't the same. And you know, it's, hard to do things when COVID hits and you're stuck inside a house trying not to get a person even more sick than they already are. Danielle tragically lost her mom this fall. Uh, her mom was quite ill in and out of the hospital and then Danielle was actually in the home when her mom passed. So she's had to, at a young age, by 19 years old, had to encounter a lot of obstacles. It's really hard for me, but I'm very proud of myself for what I've accomplished, like I should be. And I know that mom up there is looking out for me, and she will always be looking out for me. I would tell her that I miss her so much, and that I wish that she could still be here to see me grow older, and that she could be here for me in a time of need. And I really miss her. Gotta pick yourself up, push through, and keep going. Even when times are tough. And especially when you're going through things like autism and ADHD, you need that extra strength. And extra strength is what helps people 
go through tough times. You can't give up in life. And that is my moral. Don't ever give up on life. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming to the stage the 2023 Courage to Come Back Award recipient in the youth category, Danielle LaViolette. That video was making me cry over there. I just thought I'd let you know before I start. <laughs> okay, thank you so much to the Coast Mental Health Foundation and the sponsors for this award. I feel very honored and proud to be here. I wanna thank my dad for always being there for me, now raising me on his own since my mom passed away. I want to mention my friend Kelly, who lives in Ontario. She cannot be here right now because she lives so far away. She was there for me, visiting me when mom passed away. And I'd love to thank her for being my best friend and by my side through that terrible time. I want to thank my pastors in Metro Kids Society for teaching me the way of Jesus and how that they showed me that he can be your best friend no matter who you are and where you are. No matter who you are and will always be by your side no matter what you're going through. <laughs> Volunteering with Metro Kids Society, teaching children and mentoring preteens has brought me out of my comfort zone, has helped me to become confident around other people. I also, lastly, well, not lastly, hold on. I think I've got one more. I want to encourage everyone here that autism just doesn't have one face or one personality. Aut people with autism are their own unique individuals, just like everyone else. Autistic people can be treated just like normal people. We're all wonderfully made by God. And lastly now, I want to remember my mom. Even though we had our rough times, just like every mother and daughter, she always understood me when everyone thought I was the weird little kid. And I know she's really proud of me right now. God bless everyone tonight and thank you.